everybody. So I just wanted to make a short video just showing you some of the basics of Flipgrid and sort of how to make a basic video. And I'll show you some of the options you can have. So this will be your first assignment. You're going to make a Flipgrid video um, introducing yourself. So use that as an opportunity to really try some of the features in Flipgrid and get familiar with it. Okay, so the first thing about Flipgrid is basically I'll send you the URL um, and or the join code. So it works kind of similarly to Zoom. If you have a Chromebook, you're just going to paste this into your um, browser. If you have an iPad, um, you're going to have to get the Flipgrid app. So it's a free app and then you'll just use the join code. Okay, um, you'll put that in and then the first page that comes up will just ask you to join the topic using your Google account. So just make sure you're using your Google, your school Google account. Um, click OK, and then it'll basically take you to that particular topic. OK, so this is the screen that should come up at that point. Um, and notice record a response, record a response, and there's another record a response down here. All right, for this one, I just put in a little giphy here that says my example, since I'm going to show you some examples of things to do. But you might see, maybe I'll post a video with some directions on what to do for your Flipgrid, or there'll be more written instructions here. So you want to look at that, and then when you're ready to record, let's go down and hit the button. You're going to hit this. Okay, and it's going to access um, the camera, and it's going to notice it tells you here how much time you have. So I set the time for each Flipgrid topic. So just take a look at that before you get started, and then we can click here, and here's our camera. So hello, everybody. Um, and it's not recording yet, so you're not recording again until you hit this red button again. So I just wanted to show you some of the features you can use as you record. All right, so you go down here, and you click this Effects button and you can pick a filter. So you can explore some of these. There's a black and white filter. Um, there's a couple filters where like if you're doing an assignment where you don't need to show your face, you might want to use that. Um, I like this one for some reason, kind of colorful. So you could pick a filter or you could use no filter. All right, you can pick a frame. So let's say, I don't know, you could do a news frame. Um, I don't know what you call this, but this kind of frame, I think this kind of works with our color scheme, right? All right, so there's a frame. Um, you can add an emoji. So let's add a smiley face, and it'll just pop up. And just like you do with any of these things, you can move it. You can change the size. If you want to get rid of it again, you can hit the delete button. So you can use these. They call them stickers in Flipgrid. So you can add lots of different kinds of stickers. Okay. Um, you can add text. So let's say, I don't know, superpower text. So notice I hit that and this little box came up. Now you can change your text style. So you can change the font and the colors and the background. But for now, let's just oops, type in a little, and there's our text box, okay? So you can make that, you can have that on your screen as well. We can go back, we can do the same thing with drawing. This will come in handy um, with something I'm going to show you in a little bit, um, but it allows you to sort of draw on the screen as you would like a whiteboard, for instance. Um, you can pick various types of, and here's sort of the whiteboard. So let's say we wanted to pick a whiteboard. All right. So that lets you, if you want to like show how to do a chemistry problem, you might want to pick a whiteboard so that you can show people how to do it. And the really fun thing that I like about Flipgrid is you can use this split screen marker at the bottom and you can show yourself as your doing your math problem or your chemistry problem or whatever it is you might be drawing, um, you can sort of be there. And there's a lot of evidence that shows that people pay more attention if they see your face. So um, I think that's really exciting. And you could do, you know, various options of these. You could do the blackboard. You could do sort of the green chalkboard. So there's lots of options here. You can have it lined. So if you're like me, I am completely incapable of writing on a straight line on these things, you could use this to help you, okay? 
So let's leave this up for a minute and let's just see if I can do this. So let's draw. So there we go. So now I can draw, let's see if I can do cursive. Ah, hello. All right. I am really bad at using the little um, touchpad for this, but hopefully you guys will be better at it. Um, so we may take advantage of this as I have you guys use Flipgrid to like teach each other things or explain principles. So that's a good thing to know about. Okay. All right. Board and then photo. This would allow you to add your custom sticker. So if there's something, you know, maybe it pertains to your topic that you want to add, you can just add your custom sticker that way. All right. So those are some really neat effects. And then if you go over here on options, notice there's a couple more. So you can upload a clip. So let's say you don't want to use Flipgrid's camera. Let's say you used another um, video option. You use Screencastify or um, something to that effect, and you just want to upload the clip you've already made. You can do that. Um, you can mirror the video. So that kind of flips it. Yeah, there you go. Flip it. So this is the way I see myself, which is always weird, I think, because I always look a little off when I'm the way you guys actually see me. So flip mirror. Um, you can play around with the audio. And then here is another um, really neat thing that you can do is you can use this as a screen recorder. So those of you that have used like Screencastify, um, you can use this the same way. And let's say you wanted to pull up um, a power a slideshow, a Google slideshow, then you could use that and just record the screen and have it be right into Flipgrid. So those are some really neat options. And then here I just kind of set myself up. Then you can record and you're ready to go. Okay, so you can record something. You hit stop when you're finished. All right, and then you come down here to next. And it's going to give you time. And you're ready to go. Okay, so you can record something. Okay, so there was my little thing. And you're ready to go. Okay, so you Oops. can record something. All right, let's pause that. So it's going to allow you to clip this a little bit. So especially um, what I find this useful for is at the beginning and the end, you know, sometimes um, I have that awkward pause either place where you're trying to figure out where the buttons are. You can go ahead and clip that out. And then when you're happy with it, you can click next. It's going to ask you to take a selfie. So this is what shows up on the grid. So we're going to snap a picture. All right. And so you can then, and you can add effects to your selfie, just like you can add them to everything you've been doing. And then it uploads your video. You can add various um, titles and then you can submit it and it's going to tell you you submitted it. Okay. And then you're going to have a direct link to your video. Um, we may or may not play around with these QR codes, but you can get QR codes to your videos. You can download it. Um, you can download a selfie. So all of those things are there and that's how you use Flipgrid. Okay. So I hope you found that useful. Um, and I look forward to seeing your various introductions. Bye.